A self-taught inventor from rural Zimbabwe with no formal engineering degree claims he built a car that runs forever without fuel or charging. He presented it to his country's president in January 2025, announced a partnership with a Chinese automaker, and promised a public launch that would change transportation forever. This is the controversial story of Maxwell Sangulani Chikambutso, the black inventor who says he created technology that captures radio frequencies and converts them into unlimited energy, why his claims have sparked heated debate between supporters who see genius and critics who call it impossible fraud. Let me be absolutely clear from the start. Maxwell Chikambutso has been building alternative energy devices since 1997. At 17 years old, he created his first radio transmitter, and by 2015, he was unveiling self-powered cars and generators at public demonstrations in Zimbabwe. And over the years, he's attracted both fierce believers and equally fierce skeptics. His technology, called the microsonic energy device, supposedly harnesses naturally occurring radio waves and converts them into usable electricity, he claims once the device starts running it never stops because radio frequencies are always present, the energy is infinite, the applications are unlimited. Scientists immediately said this violates the laws of thermodynamics. You cannot create energy from nothing. Any system must consume more energy than it produces. Perpetual motion is impossible. And they use this to dismiss Chikambutso without examining his actual technology. But in 2018, something changed the narrative. Independent researchers traveled to Zimbabwe to test his claims. They spent weeks examining a 500-kilowatt generator. They took measurements, they documented everything on film. And they concluded the device produced exactly the power Chikumbutso claimed. This verification gave his supporters ammunition to push back against critics. Yet despite years of demonstrations, independent testing, and presidential endorsements, Maxwell Chikumbutso's technology has never become commercially available. His vehicles remain prototypes, his generators stay in laboratories, and his promises of mass production keep getting delayed. So what's really going on here? Is this a brilliant African inventor being suppressed by a global energy establishment that fears his breakthrough? Or is this an elaborate decades-long deception that's fooling everyone from presidents to documentary producers? The answer is far more complicated than either side wants to admit. And the real story reveals everything about how the world treats black inventors who make extraordinary claims. Maxwell Sangalani Chikambutso's story begins in the most unlikely place imaginable. He was born on a farm in rural Zimbabwe, and his life almost ended before it started. Complications during birth led to him being declared stillborn, doctors gave up, but his mother refused to accept it, and after being beaten and left for dead, he miraculously cried out, proving his will to survive. That fighting spirit has defined everything that came after. Chikambuzo dropped out of school at 14 years old. He had no formal engineering education, no university degrees, no institutional backing, just raw talent and an obsessive drive to solve problems that others ignored. At 17 years old in 1997, he built his first working prototype. A radio broadcasting transmitter, he operated it illegally because he couldn't afford proper licensing. It gained national attention in Zimbabwe, but without funding or support, his early projects were stifled. The system wasn't designed to help a poor black kid from the countryside with big ideas. But Chikambutso kept building. And in 2003, he had a vision that changed everything. He was visiting a rural community and saw people dying because they couldn't refrigerate life-saving medicines. There was no reliable electricity, no infrastructure, no solutions. And in that moment, he realized what he needed to create. A power source that required no fuel, no grid connection, no external input. Something that could work anywhere anytime, powered by energy that already exists all around us. And that's when he conceived the microsonic energy device, technology that captures radio frequencies and converts them into usable electricity. Now here's where it gets controversial. Chikambutso claims his device harnesses naturally occurring radio waves, the electromagnetic frequencies that surround us constantly, and converts them into pure energy that can power vehicles, generators, homes, appliances, everything, and he says once the device starts running it, never stops. The energy is infinite because radio frequencies are always present. Critics immediately said this violates the laws of thermodynamics. 
specifically the principle that you cannot create energy from nothing, that any system must consume more energy than it produces, that perpetual motion is impossible, and they use this to dismiss Chikambutso without ever examining his actual technology. But Chikambutso and his supporters argue the device doesn't violate physics. It taps into an existing energy source that mainstream science has largely ignored. Radio frequencies do carry energy. The question is whether that energy can be captured and amplified efficiently enough to power our devices, and Shikambutso claims he found a way through custom components that make up 70% of his microsonic energy device. For years he worked in obscurity, building prototypes with no funding, facing constant rejection. Then, in 2015, his big break came Dr. Teddy de Almeida, an Angolan businessman based in South Africa, gave him 500 zero 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 dollars with no strings attached just pure belief in the vision with that funding chikambutso created his first major prototypes a self-powered car a helicopter drone a self-powered generator and on july 20th 2015 he unveiled them at an open day event for media in zimbabwe the event was well publicized south african television covered it the story went viral across african tech communities but western media and fact checkers immediately attacked Without investigating, without visiting Zimbabwe, without testing anything, they simply declared the technology fake, they said it was impossible, they ridiculed Chikambutso. They warned people not to believe an uneducated African claiming to revolutionize physics. The criticism intensified. People accused him of misleading the public, of running an elaborate scam, of being a con artist preying on African hopes for technological advancement, and the attacks became so severe that his ability to get additional funding was destroyed. Then things got darker. Chikambutso says in 2017 while he was in the United States trying to get his technology recognized, he and Dr. Domeda were poisoned. They were meeting with people in Silicon Valley, discussing the technology, exploring partnerships, and then both men suddenly became violently ill. Dr. Dio Almeida died in January 2017. Chikambutso survived but believes the poisoning was deliberate orchestrated by powerful interests in the oil and automotive industries who saw his technology as an existential threat. Now there's no public evidence proving this claim, but Chikambutso insists it happened, and the fact that his business partner died adds weight to his suspicions. And here's why his paranoia might not be paranoia. The history of alternative energy inventors facing mysterious deaths, sudden illnesses, violent opposition is long and well documented. Stanley Mayer, who invented a car that ran on water, was poisoned at a restaurant in 1998 while meeting Belgian investors. Nikola Tesla died in poverty after his revolutionary energy ideas were suppressed. Eugene Malov was murdered in 2004 after championing cold fusion research. The pattern is clear. When someone threatens trillion-dollar industries with technology that could make oil obsolete, bad things happen and Chikambutso became another name on that list. After the poisoning incident, he returned to Zimbabwe, kept working, stayed mostly out of the public eye. But in 2018, something gave his claims credibility. Independent researchers including electronics engineer Nils Ragnarud traveled to Zimbabwe to test his technology. They spent weeks examining a 500 kilowatt generator. They took measurements. They documented everything. And they concluded the device produced the power Chikambutso claimed. This verification was later featured in the documentary Thrive 2 released in September 2020. The testing showed the generator running continuously without external fuel input. The measurements confirmed real energy output. The documentation gave Chikambutso supporters evidence that mainstream critics couldn't easily dismiss. Yet even with this verification, the technology never moved beyond prototypes. Why? Because admitting Chikambutso's technology works would force uncomfortable questions. It would challenge fundamental assumptions about physics and energy. It would threaten entrenched industries worth trillions of dollars. It would validate an uneducated black African against Western scientific institutions that spent decades dismissing him. The establishment wasn't ready for that conversation, so they kept the story buried, but Chikambutso kept building. In January 2022, he unveiled the world's first self-powered television, a standard TV modified to run on his microsonic energy device requiring no external power. Once again, he received backlash. Once again, people called it fake without testing it. Then, in January 2025, everything exploded back into public view. Chikambutso met with Zimbabwean President Emerson Nengagwa at State House in Harare. He showcased two vehicle models and one motorcycle powered by his technology. The president was amazed. He said this is the only vehicle of its kind that exists in the world, there is no other. 
President Menengagwa admitted that when Chikambutso first approached him, he thought the inventor wasn't properly wired in his head. But now he knows Chikambutso is well connected. The president said he's personally supporting the inventor, recognizing this as a world first that demonstrates Zimbabwe's capability for leading innovations that defy logic. Chikambutso explained to the president how the technology works. Radio frequencies are measured in nanovolts, meaning they're less than a volt. But through custom components that make up 70% of the microsonic energy device, he found a way to transfer radio frequency into pure useful energy, the first of its kind in the world. And here's what makes this even more powerful. Chikambutso announced partnership with Kaiyi, a Chinese automaker, to develop the Safe Free Energy Vehicle. The vehicle features unlimited driving range, a top speed of 220 km per hour, self-parking capabilities, autonomous driving systems, all at an estimated manufacturing cost of only $1,400 per unit. Zimbabwe announced plans to establish a manufacturing plant. The official launch was scheduled for February 10, 2025. The technology would finally go public, finally become available, finally prove the skeptics wrong after decades of suppression. But when February 10th arrived, something strange happened. The much-anticipated vehicle was absent from the launch event. Instead of showcasing the revolutionary car, Chikambutso displayed other products. Some reports say he showed a portable generator. Others mentioned disappointment from attendees expecting to see the vehicle. The confusion created more skepticism. Fact-checkers pounced. Investigations revealed that the car shown to President Minin Gagwa was a Kai X3 Pro electric vehicle, a standard Chinese EV powered by lithium-ion phosphate batteries. Critics claimed Chikambutso simply purchased this vehicle and a Browie portable power station from Amazon and fabricated them together. Zimbabwean journalist Hopewell Chinono expressed disbelief that state media reported Chikambutso's claims. He suggested it was an attempt to address fuel problems through false promises. He criticized the president for allegedly hiring unqualified advisors who couldn't spot bogus claims. The backlash was severe. But here's what makes this story so complicated. Maxwell Chikambuzo has a pattern. Over years, he's announced revolutionary inventions, gained attention, faced skepticism. Then the technology never becomes widely available. His critics say this proves it's all fraud. His supporters say this proves he's being suppressed. The truth probably lies somewhere in between. It's possible Chikambutso has genuine breakthrough technology that works on a prototype scale but faces massive challenges in commercialization. Scaling, manufacturing, it's possible the energy captured from radio frequencies is real but insufficient for practical vehicle use without additional components. It's possible that what worked in a controlled 500 kilowatt generator tested by Foster Gamble in 2018 hasn't successfully translated into a functioning vehicle by 2025. It's possible Shikambutso is being forced to partner with Chinese manufacturers who are providing conventional vehicles while he tries to integrate his technology, and the integration isn't complete yet. It's also possible that powerful interests are actively working to prevent this technology from succeeding. That the partnership with Kai is being undermined, that manufacturing plans are being blocked, that every attempt to bring this to market faces mysterious obstacles. What we know for certain is this. Maxwell Chikambuzo is a real person with real inventions that have been independently verified by credible scientists. Foster Gamble and Nils Ragnarud tested a 500 kilowatt generator and confirmed it worked. Their testimony is documented on film. They had no financial incentive to lie. We know that Chikambuzo has faced real opposition. He was allegedly poisoned. His business partner died. He was arrested in 2018 on armed robbery charges that he denies to this day. Charges that conveniently damaged his reputation exactly when his technology was gaining attention. We know that trying to patent his technology in the United States failed. Officials reportedly told him his invention violated natural laws of physics and couldn't be granted patent protection, so he decided to keep it as a trade secret instead. We know that alternative energy inventors throughout history have faced similar patterns of suppression, ridicule, violence. The trillion-dollar fossil fuel industry has every incentive to prevent breakthrough technologies that threaten their existence, and they have the resources to make inventors disappear. And we know that mainstream science often dismisses innovations that challenge established paradigms. Nikola Tesla was ridiculed, the Wright brothers were called frauds. Every major breakthrough initially faces resistance from institutions invested in the status quo. So where does this leave Maxwell Chikambuzo's story? If he a genius decades ahead of his time like Nikola Tesla, someone who will only receive proper respect after he dies, or is he running the most elaborate scam in history, deceiving presidents, 
fooling documentary producers, manipulating the hopes of an entire continent? The answer might not be clear for years. Chikambutso claims his technology is ready to sell to the public. Partnerships with Chinese manufacturers are progressing. Manufacturing plants in Zimbabwe are planned. The revolution is coming, but we've heard these promises before. What's undeniable is that a self-taught black inventor from rural Zimbabwe with no formal education built something that made Foster Gamble fly across the world to investigate built something that convinced independent scientists to stake their reputations on verification, built something that got the attention of Zimbabwe's president. And what's equally undeniable is that global power structures have every reason to keep this technology buried. Whether it fully works or partially works or needs more development, the very existence of alternatives to fossil fuels threatens entrenched interests worth trillions. The fact that Maxwell Chikambuzo is still alive, still working, still fighting after poisoning, arrests, ridicule, suppression, shows the same survival instinct that saved him as a stillborn baby. He refuses to die, he refuses to quit, he refuses to let them erase him. And maybe that's the real story here. Not whether his technology is perfect, not whether every claim is verified, but whether a black man from Africa gets the same respect, the same resources, the same benefit of the doubt that Western inventors receive automatically. If Maxwell Chikambutso were white, if he had MIT credentials, if his company was based in Silicon Valley, would the response be different? Would fact-checkers investigate before dismissing? Would investors line up instead of running away? Would mainstream media celebrate instead of ridicule? The history of black innovation is the history of erasure. Garrett Morgan invented the traffic light but got no credit. Louis Latimer improved the light bulb but Edison got the glory. Countless black inventors had their patents stolen, their contributions erased, their names removed from history. Maxwell Chikambuzo might be another name on that list. Or he might be the one who finally breaks through, who proves that African innovation deserves the same platform as Western technology, who shows that genius isn't limited by formal education, institutional backing, or skin color. Time will tell whether his self-powered vehicles transform transportation or remain prototypes that never scale. Whether his microsonic energy device powers homes across Africa or stays trapped in laboratories, whether February 10th, 2025 was a failed launch or just a delay in an inevitable revolution. But what we can say now is this. They tried to erase him, they poisoned him, they arrested him, they ridiculed him, they denied him patents, they dismissed his claims without investigation, they did everything possible to make Maxwell Chikambutso disappear. And he's still here. Still building, still claiming breakthrough technology, still fighting to prove that a black man from Zimbabwe can revolutionize global energy, and that refusal to be erased, that persistence against impossible odds, that determination to make them acknowledge African innovation might be the most revolutionary thing about Maxwell Chikambutso's story. Hit that subscribe button because whether he's a genius or not, whether his technology works perfectly or needs more development, Maxwell Chikambutso's story reveals everything about how the world treats black inventors who dare to challenge the established order.